all academy always with you and the next question is the general law of expansion or a compression is pv raised to n is equals to constant the process is said to be hyperbolic if n is equal to the right answer is option 2 that is if n is equals to 1 then the process is said to be hyperbolic so the hyperbolic process is a particular case of in a polytropic process in which n will be equals to 1 thus the law of hyperbolic process is pv equals to constant so this law if plotted on a pv diagram it will appears as a rectangular hyperbola so in a pv raised to n equals to 1 if n is equals to 1 then the such a process is called hyperbolic the next question is the heating of in a gas at a constant pressure is governed by the right answer is option 2 that is charles law so this charles law can be defined in two different ways so one is the volume of a given mass of a perfect gas varies directly with its absolute temperature when the absolute pressure remains constant so this is a one one statement and another statement of charles law is all perfect gases changes in volume by 1 by 273 of its original volume at 0 degree celsius for every 1 degree change in its temperature when pressure remains constant so this charles law can be defined by using these two statements the next question is the gas constant r is equal to dash of two specific heats the right answer is option 2 that is the difference of two specific heats the two specific heats are the specific heat at constant volume and specific heat at constant pressure that is cp minus cv will be equals to r that is a gas constant the next question is for the sum of compression ratio the efficiency of in a diesel cycle is dash auto cycle the right answer is option 3 that is less than so when the compression ratio is same or constant the more amount of heat is added in a auto cycle when compared to the diesel cycle the heat rejected to the atmosphere is the sum of both cycle because the auto will have a because the auto cycle will have the better efficiency than the diesel so the efficiency of in a diesel cycle will be less than the auto cycle at same compression ratio the next question is which of the following cycle consists of two isothermal and two reversible adiabatic process the right answer is option 1 that is carnot cycle so in carnot cycle we consist of two isothermal process and two reversible adiabatic process so carnot cycle is defined as an ideal reversible closed thermodynamic cycle which consists of four successive operations one is isothermal expansion adiabatic expansion isothermal compression and adiabatic compression so these are the four process four cycle four process in which or operations in which consist of two isothermal and two reversible adiabatic process that is in carnot cycle the next question is which of the following does not related to esi engine the right answer is option 4 that is fuel injector so the si engine refers to spark ignition engine so in spark ignition one is spark plug will be present and ignition coil will be there to produce that spark and distributor will be there to produce, to distribute the sparks at different uh, engines so the fuel injector will be present in ci engine that is in diesel engine that is compression ignition engine so the right answer is fuel injector the next question is the process of removing the burnt gases from the combustion chamber of an engine cylinder is the right answer is option 3 that is scavenging so the scavenging is a process used in a ic engine in which the burnt gases are forced or pushed out to the atmosphere from a engine cylinder by using the inlet pressure of an fresh air so scavenging is a process in which the burnt gases are removed from the engine cylinder 
The next question is the power actually developed by the engine cylinder of an IC engine is known as the right answer is option one that is indicated power. So what is this indicated power? Indicated power is defined as the power produced due to the combustion of a fuel within the cylinder of an engine and it is essentially the sum of frictional power to brake power. So it is also calculated as defined as sum of frictional power and brake power. The next question is the volume of air delivered by the compressor is called the right answer is option 2 that is compressor capacity. A compressor capacity or a capacity it is the amount of air that the compressor can pump out and it is expressed in CFM that is cubic feet per minute. So that is a compressor capacity. And the next question is in a four stroke petrol engine the inlet valve opens at the right answer is option 1 that is at 10 degree to 20 degree in between 10 degree to 20 degree before top dead center the inlet wall opens in a four stroke petrol engine. The next question is the bomb calorimeter is used for finding the higher calorific value of the right answer is option 4 that is both solid and liquid fuels can be used in a bomb calorimeter to identify it's a calorific value. The next question is the two stroke engine the following are provided for a better cooling purpose. The right answer is option one that is fins. In the study of heat transfer fins are the surface that are extended from an object to increase the rate of heat transfer from or to the environmental by increasing the convection. So the next question is the kinematic pairs are those which have a two elements that the right answer is option 3 that is that permits the relative motion. So a kinematic pair is defined as the two links or elements of a machine when in contact with each other are said to be form a pair. If relative motion between them are completely or successfully constant then the in a definite direction the pair is known as kinematic pair so that is a kinematic pair which permits the relative motion between the two elements the next question is the example of spherical pair is the right answer is option two that is ball and socket joint so what are these spherical pairs a spherical pair consists of two elements connected in such a manner that one element in the form of a sphere turns about the other fixed element. So that is a spherical pair and the best example for spherical pair is ball and socket joint. And the next question is in a high pair the relative motion is the right answer is option 4 that is combination of sliding and turning in high pairs the relative motion is a combination of sliding and turning next question is the angle during which the follower turns to its initial position the right answer is option one that is angle of descent so this is a angle of descent is known as a the it is a angle during which the follower returns to its initial position the next question is in a cylindrical cam the follower moves the right answer is option 2 that is the follower moves in the direction parallel to the cam axis so in a cylindrical cam the follower moves in a direction parallel to the cam axis and the next question is the length of open belt in addition to center distance depends the right answer is option 3 so the distance depends on the sum and difference of a radii of pulleys. The next question is in a gear the radial distance of a tooth from the pitch circle to the bottom of a tooth is called. The right answer is option 1 that is addendum. The next question is the type of gear used to connect the two non-parallel and non-intersecting shaft are. The right answer is option 2 that is 
spiral gear so spiral gear in which is connected for two non parallel and two non intersecting shaft next question is in the following gear train the intermediate shaft carries more than one gear the right answer is option 2 that is compound train so in a compound train the intermediate shaft carries more than one gear the next question is when inertia force and couples exerted by the moving part are equilibrium among themselves the system is in the right answer is option 3 that is the system is in a dynamic balancing that is when the inertia force and a couple exerted by moving parts are in a equilibrium among themselves then such a systems are called dynamically balanced or dynamic balance system the next question is which of the following is a transmission dynamo meter the right answer is option 4 that is none of the above so the so the dynamo meters are classified into two types one is power absorption and another one is a power transmission dynamo meter and these all are power absorption dynamo meter so the answer will be none of the above the next question is a clutch is located between the right answer is answer 2 that is the clutch is located in between the engine and the gearbox and the next question is the brakes commonly used in a railway train are the right answer is option 1 that is shoe brake so the sh brake shoe or shoe brake are a long curved block typically of a one pair which presses on the drum in a drum brakes so the inner railways in the railway trains the shoe brakes are more commonly used click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from all academy